and welcome back. Today I'm going to look at a program called Idea Mapper Pro. This is for mind mapping, visual mapping, but don't underestimate it's not about just doing maps and working off your ideas. You can expand on that. You can add website links, research information, files for revision maybe from your actual laptop or computer. Or even if you want as well, you can export and use a reference manager such as Sortero to import your sources to you. So there's so many different options you can work with this. So today I'll give you the basics just to get you up and running. When you start get this option here, I recommend saying yes, click on that option and just go through that quickly. But I'm going to start with no and just start with a blank new map. By the way, when you start it up, if you look here, you've got loads of options here. So you can choose different templates to work off. Really handy to do actually. Have a look at them definitely. But what I'll do today is select blank map and start from scratch. So let's pop something in. I just put something in general and we'll work off it, yeah? So I've got health. I'm going to tap off that. So I've now got my main idea to work with. Now when I tap off it, it gives me another option to do another idea. So I'm going to put diet. Again, tap off it. Create another one. And one more for luck. And then we tap off it. So we've got some ideas to work with now. So now I'm going to connect them. Using the shift button, I could click on the health and hold shift and tap on it. Again, hold shift, tap on it and connect your options and ideas. If you notice they've changed colour to separate from the main idea in the middle to the sub ideas. Drag them up where you want them and we're now good to go. That's a start. Now I need to work off this information I've got here. Now if I click on the corners here, you can see there's a little option here. Minus. If I actually tap on it, you can hide everything. So you can hide different levels that you're working with tap back on it you can bring it back up again now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on diet I'm going to come up to this option here quick access and they've got quick access because these are the main options you might tend to use in you you've got all your options for adding text notes website links uh, table of contents uh, images attachments everything so I'm going to start here with a text idea now we do a text idea it's exactly the same as I did when I started adding the ideas in the middle, clicking the enter key. So that will give you another idea to work off there if you need it as well. But what I want to do here, I'm going to click back on diet. I'm going to click new, but this time I'm going to select hyperlink. Now it gives me the option to add a hyperlink website to any option I want. So now I'm ready to add a file, web, mail or other. So if I'm on file, see it's got URL. Click back on web. And if you go back on file, you can then browse what file you want to add through here if you want as well. So you can add any file from your laptop you want or computer. PowerPoint, Excel, PDFs, images, anything you want. But what I want to do quickly is do a web one. Grab something on the internet quickly. Anything to do, I suppose. I'll just put health in and grab any website just to give you an idea. That would do. What we'll do is grab the link at the top, tap into it, control C, close the website link, and now I can paste that in the address at the bottom here. Control V. Always give it a name. I just put show and click launch or close. I always launch it to make sure it's correctly linked. And it has. So there we go. If I close it. You'll notice the link's on its own, but this gives you the option now to connect it. So I might go, actually, I want to connect that to diet. So we may if I tap on diet, hold shift down, and I can drag that where I want. I've now connected that hyperlink or website link, wherever it is you want to link there. I'm getting with this one here, it's getting in our way a little bit, so I'm going to click backspace. So then I'm going to move on to new again. This time, hyperlink, I might want to add a file. So remember what I do, come to web, then go back to file and then you can browse for any file you want so I should grab anything from your desktop there you go I've got links for videos there I'm going to put that in there and I could just put in there links but it could be something relevant from your computer this is good for revision actually and I could put document contains the file I could also put that to browse but I'm going to close that and look I've got another link here so if I drag it up out the way there I can then link it again can't I so if I select diet hold shift down it's linked now I'm going to double tap links see what we got and it's opened up the file 
and there we go so there's many so many permutations you could use with that option isn't there and again the same will work with the website link so if I double tap it should then bring up that website link there we go so that's just using the options here new but if you go to new as well and that was just a hyperlink option you can add a table of contents let me show you that quickly I'm going to tap on it if I double tap it and open it you'll see there's nothing in there look empty because you need to actually join it to your map to create the table of contents so I'm going to drag that and I'm going to put that for example I'm going to drag that over here and I'm going to connect it so tap on health remember shift button and tap now I've connected it let's have a look at my table of contents and there you go you just say you build up your table of contents so it lists everything connected to your map so you can pull them in when you need them and organize stuff quickly what else we got in new actually let's have a little look bibliography reference I'll show you that in a minute you've got your list of references you can add an image a list of images as well so there's so many options to work with there also here you've got an option here select so that's just you select all or select just all ideas or all links there you go so you can just select things quickly instead of doing it manually you can create links here so if I tap on this I can then connect links to another link so if I tap on that I might actually connect that to full process and by the way if you come back up and turn it back off you can then click on the link here and you can start working on those links I'll show you that in a minute where you can format it and edit them as well if you need to actually I'll do it now let's go up to link and here's your link option so maybe you want a different color there uh, you might want a gradient or down idea or you might want to change the directional of your arrows so you've got that great option there and there's your fill color as well so let me go back to quick access We've also got sticky ideas, we've got auto arrange, if I tap on it it will arrange your map for you automatically, which is more or less the order I add it in. 3D view, that works for you. Gives you that 3D image view, tap off it, I prefer the uh, 2D I think more. And at the back, and at the end there you've got your icons that you can add as well. Layout, again, exactly what it says on the tin, it gives all your different layouts. What you have to do is to access these options, top down and everything else, tap on them like that. Make sure you click into the document or highlight them. And there you go, you can see now I'm changing different directions, layouts that I want to work with. There's quite a few there, you've got chain left there as well. So have a little play with that and find one that works for you. But I want to go back to star. Idea options, some of these options are integrated into different options. So for example, new we saw in quick access, didn't we? We've got icons, select, we've got field colours there. So I'm going to click on the middle one, health, and I might go actually tap on it. I'm going to choose a different colour, maybe more ready options. So you can change your colour quickly there and efficiently. You've got your outline colour in your text. Also, you've got by chapter or by level. So this will change the colour automatic colours for you. So you've got different levels, but hover over it. It colour codes them different to keep everything separate for you so you don't have to do it manually. Just keeps you focused. Here's your fonts here as well. Let's go to link. So again these options I showed you with the link option, you can link. I want to go to map now as well. So you've got your map options here as well. We've got your ideas here. If I tap on that, see they link that everywhere so you can work off your ideas quickly. We've got tools as well. Now tools. I'm going to look at an option here where it says Sortero. Now, if you use a reference manager, there's loads out there Mendeley, EndNote, Sortero, cite them right, cite this for me online. But this uses Sortero. So, what you can do is, you, if you look at my YouTube channel, it shows you how to set up Sortero. Once you set it up and create a free account, you can now access your sources, bring them into Idea Mapper. So, let's give it a go and select plus. Go on, then I can log in. So I'm going to click login. Then this will pop up. An application would like to connect to your account. So put accept defaults. Let it work away. And then that way it allowed you to access it through Idea Mapper. Now, watch what I do. If I close it, I mean, look. So if I tap on it, it should now show all my sources. Now I can start working with these. Watch. Before I do, go to document settings, bibliography. Now at the moment I think I've only got two reference styles, Harvard or Indexed. 
So you've got Harvard there. Make sure you select sort all. So it puts in alphabetical order for you as well. But once you start using this, you've got options here. We can list your different styles here and what you want to be shown and caption style. I'll do a video on that at a later date. So I'm going to click OK and leave it on Harvard. Now to add notes, it's quite simple. Say on die, if I double tap it, it brings up a note for you to work with. So let's say we had a quote. And I want to use some of my references from Sorterra Watch. So I might pop into, I've got nothing on health there, have I? I've got sports there. Let's go to, yes, health. Awareness of a heart attack. So what I can do is grab my source and drag it. So I can hold the left button and just drag it where I want it. And while we're in here, by the way, if you look here, you've got bold, underline, you can highlight information. So just remember, when you double tap on any one of your ideas, it brings up this note automatically. You don't need to select it. You've even got a good option. If I tap on here, it's like a phrase book list that you can play around with as well on the right. And they give you different phrases you can use. And I think that's really handy as well if you're struggling with information there. So definitely have a little look at that. Close that. So that's how you add the references. So it's kind of limited, but Sorterra does give you all your reference styles you need anyway if you want to integrate this with Sorterra. So what we'll do quickly, we've now got that reference option here, haven't we? So I'll double tap it, and you can see well, I've added the reference there automatically for me. So if I actually come up here, remember with the new option everywhere, tap on that. If I go to bibliography reference, you can even add your own reference manually there as well by selecting which source it is then type new information if you want to work off a map and integrate it all so let's keep you moving on before you get a bit bored so we've got map let's go to tools and i've shown you document settings there you've got options there actually in options to do me a favor go to spell checker make sure you've got the correct language because it was on american so make sure if you're in britain where well, you know choose the language that you need there click ok Right, moving along, review. Got a spell check there. So there's a spell check for you. Got underline option there. You've got page setup as well if I tap on it. So you can do portrait or landscape, depending on what you're doing when you're printing it out as well. Click cancel. And then we've got view. And again, these are your zooming options. Now, this bit here, I like a lot, view. If you're working with official map, you might need to see the linear part of that map and that could be your bibliography references or table of contents so if you select map text you can then access your official map on the left but also access all the linear information on your right so i like that actually it's a really nice option to work with so that's in view option and there we go last of all is help you've got some help with about you've got some help options there licensing support and updates this is actually the free version i've downloaded now i've got to open a template because i want to show you the last option now this template is a standard template that i'll show you at the beginning i want to show you how you can export it so top left i've got an option here where you can save as so you can kind of share it with other spark space software there my mapping software but what i want to actually show you is this exporting it to linear format or maybe an image so i want to go save text as Make sure you select the drop down option and I want you to select the option here. I'm going to send this to Microsoft Word by selecting save. I'm going to overwrite it. Ignore that, that's no problem. And it's done. Click close and we should now have that in a word. And there you go. Just a simple way to create linear formats out of your maps. I want to do quickly as well, while I'm here, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to export it as an image as well. So again, I'm going to select Save Map As. And you've got PDF option there as well, JPEG, and you've got some other BMP and PNG options to save as. So there you go. Thanks for watching.